Hi, welcome to Bonita's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. What I'm going to be making today is a delicious chocolate jelly roll. Now this delicious chocolate jelly roll is very easy to make. Simple steps, most of the ingredients you're going to have in your own home. And also it reminds me of years ago on Sunday we used to have a chocolate jelly roll after we had a beautiful cold plate. I'll share of course that link for you if you don't know what a cold plate is. So if that interests you, stick around and let's get started. So what you're going to need first is three large eggs. You're going to break each one of them, pop them into your bowl, take out any shells if they pop in there, and then we're going to start blending them. Shells on shells. So after that, you're going to turn on your blender. You're going to blend this up until it's nice and fluffy. So next, all we need to do is slowly and gradually toss in there while mixing one cup of white sugar or sugar of choice. And that's all you need to do there. So what we're going to be adding in there next, I'll move that one to the side, is five tablespoonfuls of hot water and blend that through. Now that's all we need to use our blender for. What we're going to be doing now is folding the other ingredients in. I got one cup of sifted flour. I'm going to be using my trusty spoon here so I'm just going to toss it in gradually and one teaspoonful of baking powder I'm just mixing it in gradually and then I'm going to be putting in there you can kind of alternate or you can just toss it on in separate uh, three tablespoonfuls of uh, cocoa powder and mix that in folding it all together. So just tossing in the remainder of the flour and all the ingredients is in there. We're going to fold this around until it's all com combined and smooth like this. That's all you need to do. So for those of you that have never made a jelly roll before, you are going to be into a, a very nice treat. This is a beautiful cake you can make for any occasion. I also use this one if I want to make a Christmas log and it's a sort of a cake log and you decorate it with your Christmas decorations. And it's great for birthdays of course, but this one you could use any type of jam, filling, lemon filling, um, homemade filling, or an homemade jam because that's your jelly part. We also used to get this cake with icing in the middle or icing over the top. So again, as we go, you'll see what I mean by that. So what you would need now is a cookie sheet and a piece of parchment paper. And we're gonna get this one ready to bake. So what you're going to need is the cookie sheet. Like I was saying, this is 15 by 10 by one inch piece of parchment paper and it's optional I mean you don't need it if you feel that your pan is not going to stick my parchment paper don't go all the ways over so I got an extra piece to uh, put on the side so that it'll save it from going under so now what I'm going to do is pour all of this batter out onto the parchment paper so you're just going to pour it on out evenly then we're going to spread it with the spoon of course just let's Put it all into the pan like this. So you're going to spread out this batter to the edges of the pan like this. So you want to make it as thin as possible because this is going to be rolled out. Remember, we're making a chocolate jelly roll. So now I'm going to tell you how long you need to bake it for. So now we're going to put this in a preheated 
400 degree Fahrenheit oven for 10 to 12 minutes. You'll see that it's it's baked, it's got it's risen a little tiny bit, and you can touch it, you see that it's already you don't want to leave it in there till it burns because it cooks, it bakes quick. So I'm gonna do that, then I'm gonna tell you a little bit of thing little bit of the things that you need to do to prepare for when it comes out, because there's a lot of quick moving then. So let's get going. So all I got here is my cup towel. So I'm going to put it down on the counter and what you need to do is have some confectionery sugar and you're going to sprinkle it over the top of the cloth, the towel and all the ways because when that cake comes out we're going to flip it over into onto this towel but the, paper, the powdered sugar, the confectionery sugar helps from sticking to the towel. So I'm going to show you that. Pretty much you're going to keep sprinkling it like this with the confectionery sugar till the towel is coated about the length of that cake which is in a 15 by 10 by 1 inch pan and that's all you need to do there. So also while your cake is baking you want to figure out what type of jelly you're going to use because we call it a chocolate jelly roll and again it's up to you. You could use, um, I got some uh, boiled icing there, I'm going to share that link with you and I'll show you that in, uh, in the next clip. Um, and the jelly I'm using here is an apricot jam and um, I just recently done as well apricot crumbles and I can share that link with you as well for making your own apricot filling or you can just buy a jam in the store and use that for spreading over it and I'll show you that in the next clip so when our cake is baked we'll take it out and we'll talk a little bit, a bit more about it I can't wait Now our cake is baked, just look at it, how delicious it looks. Now this is where the fun part comes in. We got to take this cake, we got to flip it over onto this bed of confectionery sugar. So let's do that now. So while it's like still hot from the oven, you're going to take it and you're going to go quickly onto the towel like this. And this is uh, the confectionery sugar is on the bottom. And now we're going to take the parchment paper off. So from the closest in, start folding back the parchment paper to take it off of your baked cake. Just making sure you're not taking any of the cake with it. And slowly do that until it's all off. So that's all you need to do there. Also, if the edges is a little burnt or anything, you can cut that off. But right now, this looks pretty good. So now I'm going to show you how to roll it. So while it's hot, like this, you're going to take your towel and you're going to start rolling it. From the closest end to you, rolling the towel within the cake. And don't be alarmed because I'll show you what that'll look like after we unroll it. So as you can see, just rolling it like this slowly so you don't crack the cake while it's hot. Just roll it all in the towel like this. And that's all you need to do there. So after you rolled out your cake, put it onto a grate like this, a cooling grate, and let it rest till it gets to room temperature. <laughs> Be careful that don't try to unroll because mine keeps wanting to unroll. It must be the There you go. So keep it there like this until it comes to room temperature. Then we'll unroll it and I'll show you what we'll do next. So after your, your cake roll comes to room temperature, remove the grate, the cooling grate, and then start from the side and slowly roll it out like this. That's all you need to do on that stage. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to pour the apricot jam. And this is your jelly for 
your jelly roll. And if you want to make it a light jelly roll and not use, um, you don't have to use the cocoa. So you can keep the cocoa out. And if you want to have this filling to be um, icing sugar, then you can have icing sugar in there. It won't be called a jelly roll, but it'll definitely be equally as delicious. I can remember when I was a young girl working in our local bakery, we make these lots and we enjoyed making different types. So that's all you need to do there. So now I'm going to turn the towel so I can roll it back again. So now you're not going to use the towel. You're going to use your hand and you're going to slowly roll up your jelly roll, releasing it from the towel and the confectionery sugar. Just like this. So keep rolling it until you get to the very end. And then I'm going to show you what you do next. Now I'm going to transfer it over to this plate. Extra jelly, the extra jam, or the extra cake, um, icing sugar, whatever you use, is, could go back into it. So now all I'm going to do, i got to get it closer to me, and then I'll show you how I'm going to transfer it to the plate. So put your hand in under it, lift it up, and put it onto whatever plate you're going to be serving it. Then of course you've got to wash up your cloth separate from your regular laundry. And now this is what your jelly roll is going to look like. We're going to trim it on the side so you can see the, the jelly inside. So that's pretty much all you're doing here is just cutting off the outer pieces. Of course you can see that it's rolled. And then it's going to look like this. Of course we can still eat those pieces. They're still good. That's what it looks like. Then you can just put some more of that delicious confectionery sugar over the top. Now how good is that? Now guess how easy it is to make your own chocolate jelly roll. And again, if you don't want it chocolate and you want it plain, just leave out the cocoa powder. That's all you need to do. This is my boiled icing. I'll share that link with you. And again, if you want for that to be the filling of your chocolate cake, or if you want to put the icing over the top, that's totally fine as well. Or just on the individual servings like this here, and you can see the jelly. This one's a strawberry one, and this one is an apricot. How good is that? I can't wait for you to make yours. I'm going to have a little taste here now, and I know Raymond is over there waiting for a little some. <laughs> he, he, I mean, he's not a, he hasn't got a big sweet tooth, but he do like those jelly rolls. Oh, you can't go around with a jelly right? roll. Yeah, he, he'll, he'll enjoy this. Also, let it go to room temperature or put it in the fridge and let it chill. And then you, when you cut it, it'll have this texture and it'll still be very soft, but it's just a good tidbit. Mmm. The cake portion is so soft and tender. And you can taste that apricot filling so delicious. I'll do two thumbs up, but they're pretty messy. So if you enjoyed our chocolate jelly roll today, I'm going to share the recipe with you in under this link here on YouTube. I'm also going to share it with you on our website www.bonitaskitchen.com and as well on our Facebook page. And if you'd like to send me a message on bonitakitchen at gmail.com, I would love to hear from you. Also, your time is precious. We won't keep you any longer. We thank you for joining us today here for Chocolate Jelly Roll from our kitchen to yours. Stay safe and thank you for joining us. And don't forget to join us again join us here on Bonita's sea. Kitchen. A journey in culinary. Always an open door. Benita's kitchen to yours. Benita's kitchen.